now this part is going to go onto YouTube. So I'll probably have you plug your stuff at the end again, just so people, you know, who watch the YouTube version know. But anyway, we're going to get started. And I may or may not have you <laughs> maybe voice random people on the side if anybody comes up like just a random bystander or something like that. Just for the shits and giggles. God. <laughs> You're the king of English. You got this. Hey, that king of English goes only so far. <laughs> oh. uh, <laughs> oh my God. You were amazing in that it. episode. But here we go. We are starting. Finally, we are starting this episode of Tennis Ace with Case K's update. And last time it was quite steamy, so... This is like the night after, or the morning after. Alright, here we go. But soon, the lure of sleep is too much to resist. And I drift off to peaceful dreamland. As I slowly open my eyes, the first thing I notice is the excess brightness hitting me. Far too early to be reasonable. Oh, God. I really need to put some blinds on my windows. I'm sitting next to blinds right now. <laughs> so, yeah, I can relate. N yeah, it's Nico. I was about to call him Yuichi. I can relate, Nico. My eyes hurt and sting. My entire body feels sore. My throat is dry. I could barely bring myself to sleep properly. The whole night, I kept being hyper aware of the fact that I would share my bed with someone. I'm not really used to that. Ugh, God, I've never been able to get used to it before, either. Then again, I never dated someone for a long enough period of time to get used to it, so... <laughs> I sit up on the bed. Looking around to the empty spot where Case K had been during the night. What the huh? Morning. There he is. <laughs> Turning around, I see Case K sitting by my desk, still wearing his. only his boxer briefs. Not only that, he's wearing his birthday suit. Turning around, I see Case K sitting by my desk, still wearing only his boxer briefs. Though, I guess I. Shouldn't be surprised, since I have his clothes with me. <sighs> Morning to you, too. You're up early. I always wake up early. I need to in order to start my day off properly. Uh -huh. I've been trying to be better at keeping on top of my studies. Waking up early, putting more effort, that kind of thing. I still can't make myself wake up much earlier than this. Well, that's quite all right. Not everyone's bodies and... I was going to say meatballs. <laughs> Not everybody's bodies and metabolisms are the same. I am well aware that I can make do with significantly less sleep than most. Case K doesn't need sleep, because sleep is for the weak. Really? Um, what do you mean? Y you sleep for, like, what, seven hours instead of eight? <laughs> Just like I did for the past few days. Can relate. I usually get around four. Oh, Frozen is now following. Thanks, Frozen. Guess I had I gotta change the settings for the Twitch notifications to my YouTube style. Anyway, I'll probably do that later. <laughs> Here we go. I usually get around four. Six if I'm really tired. Wait, but four hours? Dude, you're insane. That can't be healthy. What is wrong with you? On the cron- on the contrary. On the contrary, I've been to doctors before for it. My father was also concerned about this issue, but after a battery of tests as well as sleep studies, they concluded this is the amount of sleep my body needs. In fact, if I try to sleep more than that, my body breaks down a bit. My body breaks down a little bit like I just did there. 
My eyes can't focus, I can get tired, and my mind loses its sharpness. God, it's very uncomfortable to me. What are you, an elf? What is this, a D&D &D reference? Because I don't know anything about D&D, &D and I've only played it twice. Hmm, <laughs> beats me. Though I will say my father is similar to me. Though he still does sleep six hours on average. So I suppose I'm just even more extreme than he is when it comes to that. Yuck. I already feel bleary-eyed when I can only get... When I only get eight hours of sleep. I can't imagine going with only four. You sure you're human? No, he's a rabbit. Or a hare. Whatever he is. Oh God, I guess that's fine then. If a doctor signed off on it, who am I to argue? You've been awake for quite a while then, haven't you? Just a couple of hours. I did say I can sleep up to six hours if I'm really tired. Suffice to say, the past few days were... tiring. Yesterday, more so than usual. Yeah, no kidding. The problems with your family, our fight, the thing we did together last night. I was only involved for the last two of the three things mentioned, and I'm beat. Though it does remind me... How... Uh, um... How are you hanging? How am I hanging? Yeah, like... How are you doing? You feeling okay and all? Yes, I believe I'm quite fine. Why do you ask? Well, it's just that there was... I mean, we did that time when I, um, Keisuke quietly stares back at me, his piercing blue letting nothing about his own thoughts or emotions through. Though I do believe I've gotten quite good at reading him. If I had to guess, right now he's... Curious? Then again, I'm just blathering on and on about without saying anything. Or I, I'm blathering, I can't even say what I want to say. Then again, I'm just blathering on and on without saying what I want to say. So, I can't blame him. Instead, I stare back at him, incapable of forming the words that I really need. Or... Just afraid to say them. Is everything all right with you? You're being a little odd. Me? Of course, I'm totally fine. I was just worried because, you know, you don't usually sleep over. I'm sure it must have been weird not getting to use your own bed and all. Oh, yes, that. It is true that my own bed is significantly softer than yours. There was the matter of getting used to it at first. Wait. Seriously? I was just trying to change the subject. Are you telling me you actually have a problem with my bed? My bed is great. It was super expensive too. Don't complain about my bed. You don't need to worry about it though. You yourself are quite fluffy. Once I nuzzled up against you, sleep wasn't that far off. <laughs> really? I'm glad I was able to help. <laughs> oh. oh god, Nico, you're such a floofball. Though your clinginess while we slept is part of the reason why I didn't sleep all that great. If we're going to make it a habit of you sleeping over, we're really going to need to have to talk about personal space. At least until I get used to sharing a bed with someone. Don't get me wrong, cuddling is great. Cuddling is awesome! Case Case's fur is so soft. 
It feels like hugging a cloud. I'm all for it. But maybe not when I'm trying to sleep. Ugh, I'm, am I coming across as grouchy? I really don't want to be grouchy. Anyway, what have you been up to since you woke up? I did some studying. It's a good thing your phone is the same brand as mine. I had to borrow your charger, though. You could have used my laptop. It's not password protected. First of all, not password protecting your stuff is just dumb. Have you seen me with my rich person stuff and my rich person accounts? I would be dead if I did not password protect my stuff. Second of all, I have a respect for your privacy. I'm not gonna go fiddling around with your things. Oh, really? And where did you find my phone charger? Third drawer in your nightstand. So much for not going through my stuff. Oh, shut up. What about now, though? You're not on your phone. Oh, I'm working on some song lyrics. I keep a little pocket notepad and pen with me at all times so I can scribble when inspiration hits me. I extend my neck a bit, trying to peer at the desk. He really does have what looks like... I'm scooting in. He, he really does have what looks to be a really small spiral-bound notebook. God, that would be so uncomfortable in my pocket. A spiral-bound notebook. Oh god, those metal spirals would just hurt. It even has yellow pages and everything. <laughs> you really are thorough, huh? Of course. I'm prepared for everything. Or, I'm prepared for everything. <laughs> oh, really? And how does Mr. Prepared for Everything go to school in the morning without Tuesday's school bag? Don't think I've forgotten that funny little tidbit about you keeping a different one for each day of the week. With all your notebooks and everything. Uh, okay. Maybe I don't have everything planned out. It, it will be fine, though. <laughs> Sounds like a person who doesn't think this is gonna be fine. I'm gonna take a sip of my water, because I am thirsty and I just started. Take the water. Thanks, Koro. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure, should, I'm not sure if this would help my Wi-Fi or my internet connection improve if I keep you off the call and then if you want to, like, text me to log back on the call for a call, then I'll call you again. We'll see how it works. Yeah, because I have, like, a red warning sign and it says 7, but luckily it's only down to 30% dropped frames over the past two minutes. Core does take a lot of resources at times, so I wouldn't blame you. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was a bit iffy when I kept, when I was like realizing once we were doing this, I'm like, oh shoot, I might regret this. <laughs> but then again, yeah. I do D&D &D with Discord yeah. on. Just call me. And probably call me for the end, and definitely that one, actually. Just come when you can. That would probably be best. Uh, sorry, I was I was chugging and chugging. <laughs> what were you saying? My bad. I was saying, uh, just let me know when you need me, and I'll be there. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I'll just see how this works for now, and <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll just ping you for a, a roll or something. Yeah, yeah. Kuru is off the Discord call, but yeah, I'm just gonna keep close Discord just to make sure my. Bitrate stays safe, but Koro is here, and if I need to talk with him, I'll p I'll ping him again. So don't worry, Koro's not gone. He's in he's in here. He's he's in my stuttering too. He took over me. He just possessed me there. Uh, he's in our hearts <laughs> and our spirits. Anyway, let's keep going. Oh, Koro gave a heart in the chat. Love him. Anyway, uh, uh, okay. Maybe I don't have everything planned out. It, it, it will be fine, though. I am not on the right window. There we go. 
Oh, will it? What are you going to do when philosophy rolls around and you don't have the textbook for it? Where will the philosophy notes go? It, it, it's fine. I, I can just write them on the back of my Monday sociology notebook and copy them later. Is that so? But then your notes will be on the wrong place. You'll have philosophy notes in your sociology notebook. What will you do then? Uh, I can rip out the pages I use for philosophy out later. No one will know. Oh, but I'll know. And more importantly, you'll know. Not to mention that you will then have a single notebook that has fewer pages than all the rest. What will you do then? <laughs> oh, you're so evil. I... 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 No! <laughs> oh my god, we just broke Keisuke. <laughs> oh my god, how did you get the font to do that, Basket? And it's not stopping. How do you do that? Oh, man. <laughs> uh, messing with you is way too fun. Seriously, I don't know why you'd even care about all that stuff. But I had a hunch I'd get a funny reaction out of you if I did that. Glad to know it paid off. Okay, okay. I won't tease you anymore. That was mean of me. Oh god, you're horrible. <laughs> Jokes aside, can I take a look at this lyrics book of yours? I'm kind of curious. What? You want to see it? Why? I... Did just say that I'm curious. Um. Maybe another time. <sighs> oh, I forgot. Oh, I was going to get my chips and then have the Dorito. I guess this doesn't count technically because it didn't pause. Or, well, it didn't fully stop. So, we'll get the Doritos later. You... Don't want to show it for me? Or you don't want to show it for me, do you? Not really. It's embarrassing. Oh, fine. If it's such a big deal, I'll drop it. It's not a big deal, but I'd still rather not. Understood. You can keep your notebook to yourself. Don't worry about it. <sighs> Thank you. With one swift movement, I toss away the sheets that were still covering my lower body, spinning on my seat to place my feet firmly on the floor. As soon as I get up, I quickly walk up to my dresser, grabbing my clothes and beginning to dress myself in my uniform. Pants first. Wow, went straight for the uniform, huh? What? I need to get dressed. Really? I think you're just embarrassed about being half-naked around me still. Even if that were the truth, that's not important. I need to get dressed either way. Might as well do it now. Aren't you even going to take a bath before class? I already took one last night. It's not like I sweat in my sleep or anything. If you say so. Oh, don't judge me. You take a or you didn't take a bath either. Only because I can't quite walk around your house undressed, can I? I don't have my clothes with me. Remember? Oh, right. Case K insisted on washing his uniform along with his other clothes last night. Dude comes over to spend one night and somehow ends up washing three full outfits at once. I can understand liking things clean, but that's a bit insane. I'd forgotten about that. I can go fetch your clothes now if you want. Are you going to want to take a bath before class? 
Uh, no. We wouldn't have enough time. Just drying myself off would take a good 20 minutes. And you don't even have or and you don't even have long fur. Imagine how much of a nightmare it is for me. KSK gets up from his chair, walking up to me before sweetly cupping my cheek with his hand. I'd still appreciate it if you got my clothes for me, though. Were, were you still- were you really waiting this entire time for me to wake up so I could fetch you your clothes? And if you, I did? Then you're an idiot. Hmm. Maybe just a little bit. Case K leans forward, pushing my body weight onto his toes and stretching himself to touch his lips to mine. Aw. It lasts for barely a moment. Just enough for me to realize that it was there. Case K gives me a kiss and quickly pulls away from it again. Heh. <laughs> someone's a... <laughs> someone's affectionate. So? Can't I be affectionate with my boyfriend? It's just us here. <laughs> That's totally fine by me. I take this moment to return Case K's gesture, reaching with my hand to cup his cheek and stroke it with my thumb. That's when I notice something. Hey, uh, Case K, what is this? I try touching a spot on his snout, right next to his lip. I see what appears to be a mark hiding just behind the fur. Uh, ow! Ugh. As soon as I touch it, Keisuke winces, pulling away from me. What was that? Then... I remember. Absolutely not! I... That's... Kisuke, is that... A bruise? The hair rubs the spot that I had touched before, making a sharp sound as he sucks in air between pursed lips as he touches it. I guess it is. No way. It's barely even noticeable. I didn't even notice it was there until I looked really close. But still, Kisuke has a bruise on my face, and it's my fault. What? What the hell did I do? Why did I even do that? And as soon as the memory of it comes flooding back, that whole sense of dread I locked away the night before also rushes back in, stronger than ever. Dread. Guilt. Keisuke. Come on, don't look at- don't look like that. It's not a big deal. What do you mean it's not a big deal? Of course it's a big deal! Keisuke scoffs, waving a hand dismissively in the air. No, it's not. I mean, if it were any other situation, I guess it would be. But you were just knocking some sense into me. I was being an idiot, so I deserve that. What? What are you saying? God, no way! Oh, come on. Don't look at me like that. You look like you've seen a ghost. I might be white, but I'm not that white. Really? Really, Basket? I feel called out. KSK tries to laugh it off with a poor joke, yet all I can do is stand and stare at that bruise on his face. It's so well hidden that I almost lose sight of it even while staring directly at it. Yet, it is still there. And it won't go away just because I feel bad about it either. I... I'm sorry. I didn't... None of that. I don't want to hear it. 
Without letting me finish my thoughts, KSK places a hand on my shoulder, cutting me off as I speak. Now, come on. Could you get me my clothes? Please? I might be comfortable being naked in front of you, but even I'm not going to get self-conscious when you're fully dressed and I have nothing but a pair of undies to wear. Uh, oh. Right. Uh, I'm going to go get your clothes for you. Yes. Please do. Case Case stands up, closing his dinky little notebook. As soon as he gets on his feet, he stretches his back, his neck, his back, not gonna say the other two things, Interlock, interlocking his fingers and raising both arms high in the air as he stretches his entire body. Uh, I'm trying to do the case case stretch, and I'm so tight. Fuck. My attention is dragged away to his physique, noticing how toned and fit his abdomen is and how strong his legs are. Before quickly catching myself and snapping out of it. Be right back. Okay. I quickly step out of the room, walking to the little laundry area we have next to the bedroom, to, or the bathroom actually, to check on Case Case clothes. I'm not the neatest person when it comes to folding and steaming clothes, but I did try my best last night to at least make it wrinkle free once I got out of the dryer. Although letting it fully dry would take far too many hours, and I didn't want to run the dryer until the early hours in the morning, so the clothes were still a bit damp when I took it out. I need to leave them to air dry overnight. I'm just glad they seem to be fully dry now. Here you go. They're finished drying. Thank you. I sit down on my bed grabbing some socks and putting them on while trying very hard not to watch Case Kay get dressed. You pervert! He magically has the clothes up here on top of him. I'm nervous about my VN because I have a setting where I, I'm i gonna have to do it so that the character has to disappear before it comes on because I made my clothes like a variable. So it may look a little less smooth than this. So I'm thinking about my own update, which just came out yesterday. Oh, somebody did a thing. Trinix Slayer is now following. Thank you, Trinix Slayer. Sorry, I just have like trying to organize my windows. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> oh God, I really am trying to make sure my game has at least relatively smooth transitions with the clothing and the moving of the sprites or whatnot. It's going to be different than this, like the character will disappear and reappear immediately when the thing happens, but yeah, hopefully that shouldn't be a problem. That's just how I'm doing it, like if the person, if the character changes clothes like live on camera or whatever, like does this. Sorry, it just made me think about that because I'm a VN dev, I have to think about this stuff. All right, let's keep going. Trinix Slayer says, hey there. So I didn't keep going, but <laughs> hey there, Trinix. And I forgot to say hi to Vlad, Fallen, of course, Carl Romaro is here, and the other four, three, whatever viewers, seven in total. Great to see you all here. Let's continue. He very, he's very thorough about getting dressed too, making sure his shirt is neat, his cuffs are aligned. He definitely takes a lot of care with his appearance. I mostly just throw stuff on and I'm fine with that. The only thing I take good care of is my fur. Because it's way more problematic than I, if I don't, and it starts tying itself into knots. Ugh. How do I look? Stunning. The same as you do every morning. Couldn't even sneak a compliment in there. Um... Your shirt is nice. You really don't know what you're doing, do you? I'm trying my best. <laughs> I guess that's good too. I think I left my bags downstairs. I'm going to go get them. Bye! 
I watched Keisuke leave the room while looking for... Blah, 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 blah. I watched Keisuke leave the room while looking around for my own bags. I got so distracted watching him change that I forgot to do it. Even though I'm pretty sure I was trying not to do just that. Wait. What is this? Keisuke left his notebook here. Uh-oh. Are we gonna get a choice to look at it? Did he forget about it? I should probably take it to him. He did say he keeps it with him at all times, so he can write when inspiration comes to him. Dorito time! Let's get some Doritos. I think I forgot to turn that light off earlier, my bad. Uh, okay, is the lighting good? I gotta have some fine, stunning lighting while I eat my Doritos. Taco flavored Doritos, the best Doritos ever. They only sell them at like Vaughn's and Albertsons in my area, so... It sucks, but... You have to make do with what... with where you can get it. Here we go. A Dorito for the ellipses. Cheers. God, I love those Doritos. And they'll stay here in case. Ellipses. Although, I could take a look first. Yes, he did leave it behind. I'm sure he wouldn't realize if I took a peek. I could just tell him, hey, you forgot this and give it back to him. No questions asked. Nothing's stopping me from looking into it first. Why must you do this to me? Why must you make me actually make decisions and be like somebody that tries to make decisions? Why are you, Why is this a thing? Oh God, where do I save? I think I'm just gonna save. Maybe down here for now. Yeah. Why is this a thing? Why must I be so bad and insecure? How do I go back? There's the back button. And as I... Let me Google the answer. <laughs> no, I can't. I just wanted to see quickly how long this update was, just so I... Like, don't go till midnight again. And for some reason, Chrome is making me use the Yahoo search preference. <laughs> oh, lord. There we go. So now, tennis ace. But, yeah. I think it's maybe just going to be day 30? Whatever. I'm going to look at the dev log. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, it's only day 30. That's why, I su that's why somebody in the chat said it was shorter last night. Oh, and Alexander got new sprites. And a new piece for June's piano competition. Ooh, we're going to have to go back and check those out maybe later. Maybe I could get Cora's opinion on that. Maybe that's what I'll call you for. Anyway, we are continuing on. Should I look, be a little sneak, or be a good boy and not look? Okay, we got two people that... Or no, that's just one person that says the same thing. Do it. Take a look. <laughs> Koru is like... Koru is thinking about it. <laughs> oh, man. Koru is very adamant about... Getting a look in that notebook. I I feel like I'm such a curious person, but... 
God damn it. If he catches us, this that's why I saved. If he catches us, I'm just going to rewind and be like, nope, didn't happen. <laughs> and then just continue on. I, fe I feel like this is going to be a trust thing, but even if we do, it's like maybe it will show like some personal thing about him that he's like struggling with or something that will help us better understand him. There's so many things to think about. Ah, why am I so bad at thinking and making decisions? Final look. <laughs> no going back. Okay, no, I can go back, actually. Some games don't let you for some reason. I was, like, really confused. I quickly flip through the pages, making sure to keep watch on the door with the corner of my eye in case he comes back for it. Man, this is exciting. I rarely do this kind of stealthy thing anymore. Well, let's see here. There's a lot of what seems to be sheet music as well as confusing letters that I quite don't understand. Are those scales? There's lyrics intermixed in between them, but surprisingly few of them. Since I don't have time to look at all of them, I decide to flip to the latest page, looking for whatever it was that Case K was working on this morning before I woke up. I wonder who it's going to be about. Aha! Found it! <gasps> oh, I thought it was going to give us lyrics. Oh, is this the NVL mode? God, I need to learn how to use the NVL mode. Damn. Now that spring has come and gone, another season passes with me by your side. When the rays of orange sun hit my skin, like a warm and gentle touch, I think of you. Oh, God, I love it. <laughs> Maybe I could reference it in my VN and be like, eh, some random person made this song, and then it ha and it's this song. God, wouldn't that be hilarious? The Tennessee, Cin the Tennessee Cinematic Universe is also interlinked with the Ocean Avenue Cinematic Universe. Wouldn't that be great? Oh. Anyway. When I touched your head to mine, was it trembling that I felt? In this world, it was... In this world with justice, too, I felt like summer could go on forever. Could you believe in that? If I wrote you a love song, would you laugh or sing along? Strumming my fingers to the guitar, your face, sleepy face, your face, sleepy face, comes to mind. It makes me sing. Your face, sleepy face. That's what the song is called. Your face, sleepy face. <laughs> this... Are, are those song lyrics? They're, they're so sappy. I love them. God, my face is just burning just reading these. What are these supposed to be? Is, is this a love song? To me? I, um, wow. <laughs> I don't... I don't know what to think of it. Wait, are these even good? I don't know much about song lyrics. There isn't much more after these, and a lot of lines are crossed out or half-written. This feels like a rough draft, but... I'm not sure what I'm looking at. What am I looking at, guys? <laughs> As I go to my phone and the Discord messages come in. I got one thing from LinkedIn. I tried, I applied for internships today, so at least I feel like I'm a productive human in society. I probably won't get any of them, but it's worth a shot. Okay, I just wanted to see if my artist got back to me for Oshinabu, because they said they're going to maybe show me tonight. Oh, Grizz was telling me about the far beyond the world, like, lengths. Hi, Grizz. <laughs> um, or it's lied, at least, like, on here. But I just read your message. And the other message is me streaming. I don't think there's any more announcements. Da, 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 da. Sorry, guys. Just got a bit distracted. The other one was Snapchat. I'm not too sure what I'm looking at. 
I wasn't expecting you to interrupt the stream. I'm sorry. It's my stream. I do what I want. But, yeah, no, I just got too curious. I thought it was going to be someone else. That's why I looked. So, but, yeah. R... Are all of those Case Case songs are, are all of Case Case songs like this? The only one that the only other one I heard was the one he sang during the school festival. That one was a confession song. I flipped through a few pages back, looking for more lyrics. I passed by a few pages of more nonsense letters, sheets and diagrams with a bunch of words thrown around at random before finally coming across more song lyrics. This must be one he was working on right before the one I just saw. Let's see. I'm looking for an answer. The truth I seek right before is right before my eyes. So slowly suffocating, I cry for warmth inside. Wow, oh, this is beautiful. The rain that pours above me, the frigid cold I feel. My breathing unrelenting. There's no escape in sight. Wow. If I'm left with nothing but memories, I'd rather break and soon forget. But when I close my eyes, I still remember there is no future without a past. Ah, God! Why must we get deep on this channel? Oh. Oh, God. What is this? What's with this mood whiplash? How do we even go from a point A to point B here? I feel like I'm reading someone's diary full of nothing but barely connected thoughts dumped together. Which... I guess I kinda am. <laughs> I should probably start writing more song lyrics. I have one already that's like half written, like it's written up from the beginning to like the first, uh, to the first refrain, I guess. So, I basically kinda have that like first group of stanzas done, so I guess it's like about a minute's worth done. But yeah, that one's gonna be that one's a lot more poppy, I'd say. And I might try and use it for my Ocean Avenue VN just to play around for it, with it. It's not like a magnum opus or anything. It's just it's just a fun little cheeky song that I feel like it might test my vocal abilities and be a fun thing to at least get myself started. Anyway, maybe it'll help me write more lyrics. Maybe I'll be a musician someday. <laughs> <sighs> Which I guess I kinda am. Is this how Case K has been feeling? I... I should really be on the lookout for him a bit more. I have to make sure nothing bad happens to him. These really worry me. I'll just... Bring the notebook downstairs and hand it back to Case K and act like nothing happened. That's probably the best play here. I can't find my school bag anywhere either. Mm, come on, this thing has to be here somewhere. Stupid stuff in my teeth. I can't have lost it in the house. Wait. My tennis bag isn't here either. Did... Did I forget to bring them upstairs? I come to think of it, Case K left his downstairs too. I guess I should at least check. If it's not there, I'll come back to my room and look around again. It's not like I have a lot of clutter, so if it were here, I would have found it already. Hold on. Stupid Dorito in my teeth, had to get it out. I quickly head downstairs. Though, I make sure to be careful around the stairs. I've fallen down these a couple of times before over the years, and it's definitely not fun. Oh, there's the little one. The little Aniki. Or no, not little Aniki. It's a little Aki. I look around, soon spotting Case Case sitting by the counter with Aki. They seem to be talking again while... Wait, are they eating? Is... Is that plain white rice? Hmm? Oh, you're finally here. I was starting to think you'd gone back to sleep. I was looking for my bags upstairs, but I don't think I left them here. 
You left them by the couch along with mine last night. That explains it. As for your question, yeah, I didn't know how long you'd take to come down. Case Kason said you'd be right behind him, but you didn't seem to show up. So, you decided to eat plain white rice? My new favorite band, the plain white rice. I'm not like, I, it's not like either of us knows how to cook. And the rice is fresh, it's still warm. Of course it's fresh and warm. I add the raw rice and water to the rice cooker and set it on the timer before I go to sleep so we have rice ready by the time I can make breakfast. Have you? How do you live here and not know that? Aki shrugs, taking another bite of his plain bowl of rice. For God's sake, stop eating that plain! Fine, I'll cook us breakfast. Just have a little bit of patience, okay? Sorry. You're not the one who has to be sorry. I doubt you just went up and decided to grab yourself a bowl of rice for no reason. Nah. I got one for him. See? I dip under the counter, quickly grabbing a few pots from the cabinet and placing them on the granite surface. Are you two... fighting? Nah, this is what having a sibling is like. Isn't he a pain in the ass? Careful, these pans are heavy and I'm not afraid to hit you over the head with them. <laughs> we, need, we need a bonk emoji with like a pan over Aki. Oh, you wouldn't. Just be quiet and wait for your breakfast. <laughs> I don't want to take too much time, so I'll just make something simple. Toma tamagoyaki, miso soup, and rice. That should be good enough. As I Google what tamagoyaki is. I've had Takansu, and that's, that's pretty good, honestly. Like, there's a... There's a, there's a, uh, there's a, there's a, there's a Japanese restaurant that my brother really likes, and they make a decent takansu, and yeah, he likes the yakisoba there, so. God, why does it keep going to Yahoo? It's like Firefox is literally taking over every single program I have. Either Firefox or, like, my Mac is forcing me to use Yahoo on, like, it's holding me hostage, man. Guys, Yahoo is holding me hostage. Oh, so it's Japanese rolled omelets. Hmm. Maybe I'll have to make that someday. Never seen that before. How would you do that? It's like a rolled omelet. It's like once you have it, it's like you just roll it. Oh, you keep rolling? That's, it's like, serve for breakfast, put on this aside, of vent, well, whatever. Ah, that looks interesting. <laughs> it's, it look, it seems easy to do, but I don't think I would be able to make that myself. Or at least I don't think I'd have the competence to. I'll just partake in my root beer. God, you're making me thirsty and you make me want to make a drink now for myself, but I'm just going to sip on my water until then. So that should be good enough. I can put some water in the pan and wait for it to come to a simmer while I prep the tamagiyaki. You're really fast with that knife. I know I've seen you cook before, but it always surprises me to see that. You think? I cook pretty often, so I guess I'm a bit skilled with it. Careful you don't cut your finger. You're not even looking at your hands while you do it. See the way I'm holding the veg or see the way I'm holding the vegetables? This claw shape makes it pretty much impossible for me to cut myself. The knife stops by my or the knife stops by the knuckle on my fingers and is guided down from there. If you say so. I remember you cutting yourself in the past though. That was years ago. How far back are you going? Hmm. I guess you might be right. You don't guess I, you don't guess I'm right. I am right. <laughs> you little shit. You're making tamagoyaki? 
Yep, and miso soup. It'll go well with your bowl of half-eaten rice. You're really not letting this rice thing go, are you? There was no reason why you couldn't have waited a couple of minutes for me to come downstairs. I make you breakfast every day! Stop being such a pain in the ass. Stop talking like that. What? Stop talking like that. Watch your language. Ugh, you're the worst. Um. Ugh, calm down, we're not fighting. Are... Are you sure? It really is painfully... Uh, it really is painfully obvious that you're an only child. <laughs> Even me with one other sibling, and we don't get into that many arguments about anything, but... We do, like, pick on each other and whatnot from time to time. I totally get it. <laughs> so, it's like, it's so weird to have that imagining of thinking they're fighting. <laughs> oh, man. It really is painfully obvious that you're an only child. I'm not sure how to answer that. I finished making breakfast with only occasional quip from Aki. Mostly, I just listened to the two talking while I worked on it. It didn't take long before the subject turned to tennis once again. Tennis? In tennis days? Holy crap, they're finally talking about tennis! No way! They're talking about the game! They're talking about the actual sport in this game! Ugh. As I look at my VN and it's so overly filled with volleyball, <laughs> People are probably going to be like, be more like Tennis Ace. And then the Tennis Ace people are going to be like, be more like Ocean Avenue. Talk more about your sport, damn it. <laughs> but, yet I was so focused. No, no, no. Yet I was so focused on cooking that I was only half listening to what they were saying. By the time we finished eating, there was nothing but the rice left over for dinner. Thank God. God, these rice cookers keep for a while. Oh, God. I'm flashing back to the rice cooker that the sub Lisi I had left for me. It was disgusting. I had to throw it out. Ugh. But I cook rice in the, pan in the pot. Like, I, I, I totally could get myself a rice cooker someday, but, you know, I'm not going to spend the money on that now. I don't need it. Plus, what I do is just fine for now. Plus, I'd like to make other things, too, with it, like couscous, Israeli couscous, which is like pearl couscous, I think. Uh, quinoa from time to time. Love. I make a good quinoa with chicken broth. Um, I mean, pasta I do in a big pot, but yeah, I do pasta. Um, Mexican rice, too, with like, you know, like the Mexican spices and stuff. That's always a pretty good one that I, I get from like, like a pack or whatever. Uh, yeah. I love cooking stuff like that. I love cooking my carbs too much. It's terrible. I need to watch my stomach. Ocean Avenue is about the ocean, not volleyball. <laughs> yes, I forgot. I gotta make it more about the ocean. <laughs> and what an interesting face you have there. <laughs> I know more about volleyball thanks to Ocean Avenue than I ever knew before. <laughs> it's good. Oh, thanks, Lyde. I don't want to overdo it when I do it, though, so... I want to make sure when people fill out the survey not to be too kind, or at least give me enough feedback so I know I'm, yeah, I don't know, what am I saying? Be, be honest. Anyway, thank god these rice cookers keep for a while. Oh, that was really good, Nico. I think I could get used to this. You live in a house full of people taking care of you for every need. You're already used to this. Right. Uh, that's true. I am the one percent. Ah, dumbass. Did you say something? I said I was going to do the dishes. I at least try to listen. Jeez, no need to be so snippy. Do you have the? Do you have your things ready? We should probably get going soon. Why the rush? We're still going to be at least 30 minutes early. Well, uh, yeah. I know that. But... You're antsy because you usually get to school way before I do, aren't you? 
Yes. Keisuke sighs, leaning forward on his seat. Seeing him exasperated like this is actually kind of cute. I give him a quick and gentle rub on the back, making sure not to be too over... overtly... Yeah, I give him a quick and gentle rub on the back, making sure not to be too overtly affectionate with Aki nearby. There, all done with the dishes. Damn, you were fast. It's not like there was a lot of them. They weren't really that dirty, either. And the pans? Uh, oh, right. How could you possibly forget about the pans? Just then, a loud knock echoes from the front door, startling me. FBI, open up! <laughs> yeah, it's really early. Uh, who? I'll get it. No, wait! <laughs> At least finish what- at least finish doing what you started! The pans are still dirty! <sighs> Need me to get those? No, it's fine, I'll- uh, 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 uh. I hear Aki gasping loudly from the front door. The fur on the back of my neck stands at attention, and I run there before even having time to think about it. Oh god, he looks so hot! Oh god! Oh my god! It's Alex! Somebody did a message. What app was that? Oh, Facebook Messenger. <laughs> Whatever. I rushed to the front door thinking that it must be an intruder or an assailant or something and feel ready to throw down. But it only is just a beautiful Alexander. Also known as Richard in the Wolf Star Sins in Paradise universe. Fun fact. Yes, this same character is in the Wolf Star universe. Either somehow canonically he's related to that character, or somehow Alex has an alter ego and is in Paradise doing whatever it is in Paradise. I think it was like working at a bar. <laughs> this guy is a man of many different lives. And oh god. I can't stop looking at him. Why must you make him look so good, Naira? Ugh. <laughs> did he get hotter? I think he did. Eh. The comment before you said someday I'll download your VN Dirk. Thanks, but keep. God damn it, Alex just keeps getting hotter. My goal now is to have Alex in my VN. <laughs> just have the guy who, like, supported Tennis Ace and Wolfstar and got his character into those support mine so it's just I can put him into mine. It'd be the trifecta of VNs. Oh, man. Why must he be so sexy? Instead, I find a giant wolf standing in front of the open door. Looking down at Aki with a raised eyebrow with my little brother just gawking at him, frozen to his spot. D what? Alex notices my arrival as well, looking up at me with the same look on his face, then looking down from me to Aki, and back to me as the three of us continue in a silent stare down for at least a few seconds. May I come in? Uh-huh. Uh-oh. Right. Yeah, yeah, uh, of course. Come on in. Oh, God. He looks so good! Why must I simp so hard over him? Fuck this game. I'm waiting for the Alex side route. Well, I mean, it wouldn't work with, like, Nico's character, but... Can I... Can I volunteer as tribute and date Alexander? God damn it, I got to drink the rest of this. I'm so thirsty. There wasn't really that much left, actually. <laughs> I'll let you guys watch Alex for a bit as I refill my water. Or should I get like a little drink in my gay mug? I haven't filled up this gay mug since I've been back for the break. Or well, on stream, I mean. I haven't filled it up on stream since the break. So, 
<laughs> it's okay, Dirk. We all agree. Amen. Anyway, be back in a sec. God, I need so much wire to quench my thirst. All right, where was I? I invade Alex, or I invade Alex. I invite Alex inside, having to physically nudge Aki out of the way as he just continues to stare. At least Aki snaps back to reality real quick when I pull on his shoulder, following quietly behind us. I guess it's safe to say we're both stunned. No one expects to find a huge, muscular wolf standing on their doorway so early in the morning. As I think about the last VN I just played. Oh, man. <laughs> I... <clears throat> I appreciate it. Alex! Alex, what are you doing here? Kisuke sees us popping in from the entrance hall, his jaw going slack as he walks up to us, just as confused as Aki and I are. What are you doing here? I came to ch- Alex's eyes fall on Kisuke, going silent immediately. He quickly scans Kisuke from top to bottom. Your clothes are wrinkled. That's the first thing you comment on? God, I I'm sorry. I I'm not as good as folding in steaming clothes. Uh, seriously, Alex. Er, seriously, Alex. What are you doing here? I got in trouble. Oh, God. What happened? Tensions were high in the household yesterday. Kurida has clearly taken joy in being in his new position. He and I... Had a bit of a disagreement. Please tell me you didn't do anything to him. Of course not. You know me better than that. Then what happened? It isn't a big deal. We had words. It got a bit heated. He used his newfound power over me to suspend me for the week. In retrospect, he was probably goading me into it. What? Suspended? Yes. How can you say something like that so nonchalantly? Because... It's what happened? That's not the point! Do you have a point? I... You... This... <sighs> you seem displeased. Forgive me if I wasn't ready to be bombarded with this kind of mess so early in the morning. Oh god, he's bowing to us! Ah! Ah, uh, yes. That would make sense. I'm sorry for dropping this on you like this. It's... fine? So, if you're suspended, what are you doing here? I've come to assassinate you. <laughs> <laughs> like, he just suddenly twists, like it just goes full on like 180. He's like, Alex has gone wild. Alex has gone rogue. Now, Alex would never do the, that to us. If anything, he would let us join our alliance and we would just take over the world with him. So, what are you doing here? You, you've never spent, you never spent the night outside the house. I came to check in on you. I also brought your Tuesday school bag since you'd forgotten it. What? You're suspended. You didn't have to worry about that. 
I do not worry about you because I have to. I choose to. I... That's... Uh, um... God is... Oh god, why is he so... <laughs> Shadow and I are just sipping over him so damn hard right now. God. I feel exactly how you do right now, Shadow. Ah! I know, even though he's sad, it's like, he's so vulnerable and... God, just... Just want to be close to him. I just want to tell him it's all fine. Even though he doesn't show emotion. Ah, yes. That's... Um... <sighs> See? I told you Alex cared about you. I was worried you might have left for school earlier, and that's what... And that I wouldn't catch up. Luckily, it does not seem your presence has changed Nico's schedule. Okay, what does that even mean? That you didn't leave for school as early as Keisuke usually does. You could have simply shown up and dropped my bag for me at school. It's not a big deal. Yes. I was, however... Hoping you would allow me to walk you to class. He really wants us to call him daddy, doesn't he? Uh, huh? You have never walked to school before. I would prefer to be around when you do so. To make sure you are safe. You... You do realize you are suspended, right? If me walking to school is such a concern, I'm sure the estate would have sent a relief bodyguard to do it. They wouldn't. They... wouldn't? They seem pretty intent on meddling in Keisuke's life. I'm surprised they wouldn't. They would... They know I'd choose to come even if I am suspended. My suspension is purely for the sake of docking my pay and hurting my reputation. They have no illusions that I would stop doing my job simply because of it. So, they expect you to keep working through a suspension? What is this, America? Is that illegal? This feels like it should be illegal. Uh, I'm look. I'm reading the comments saying like, seeing if anybody reacted to my prior comments earlier. <sighs> Why am I not surprised? You're not. You did seem very surprised just now. Well, I, I'm surprised that you're here and that you'd got and that you'd go so far. I'm not surprised that they would plan on making you work through a suspension. Again, they did not make me work. I chose to work. Your safety is more important to me than a paycheck. Alex, that's... I... Wow. So... May I accompany you to class? Yes, yes you may. Thank you. Ah, oh, he's spreading! Ah, oh, it's so... God, he's so cute when he grins. Oh god, it's like that Bazzy song. You so fucking precious when you smile. Oh, he really is so fucking precious when he smiles. <laughs> That needs to be a new- Oh god, I need to make an edit of that now. Oh god. So beautiful. Basket, why must you make me such a simp over him? And Naira, this is your two's fault. <laughs> this is your guys' fault for making me such a simp. <laughs> Damn it. Thank you. We did finish having breakfast, and we're just hanging out before heading to school. I guess we could leave now. Uh, nuh-uh. You're not getting out of finishing what you started. 
You still didn't wash the pans. Damn it. Why did you even offer to do it if you didn't want to? <sighs> I'll be right back. Wait for me. I'll go with you guys. Oh, this is so cool. Ah, they're so awesome together. This is the, this is the, what, what is it called? The, what is it, like the four, the four, like, the, the four horsemen of the apocalypse, I think it's called. <laughs> These are the four men, horsemen of the apocalypse. <laughs> right here. All right, I locked the door. Did you remember to close your bedroom window, Aki? You're asking me to do this after locking the door? I'm asking as a formality. You usually always remember to do this stuff. Then don't ask. And yes, I closed the window. Oh god, we are- we- I- we're not gonna talk about politics, but I... Yeah, we're not gonna talk about the politics going on right now, so... If you want to see my opinions on it, I talk about it a lot on Twitter, and just... Yeah, so... <laughs> different place for that. I'm not the guy who's like, oh, no politics or whatever, like... I do mention politics on, like, my media and all that, and still partake in it. I just meant for, like, the videos themselves. Like, for these streams or whatnot, when I'm in a reading. Like, it would just really throw things off, unless it was, like, a Dastra, or... Maybe even the smoke room where things get political within the story. Yeah, I don't want to, like, completely derail something that's, like, not even politically related. Like, for the, for the game to go into something like that. Yeah, no worries, you're good, man. I just want, or man, I, I, I meant to say, like, yeah, kind of like a, you know what I mean. No worries, my person. I should say that as my phrase. No worries, my person. But yeah, no worries about that. Uh, I'm just saying that, and, you know, you know, we all do that sometimes, so. Anyway, we got Koromaru being an angel right now with his emote. Or mix of emotes. Anyway. Then don't ask. And yes, I close the window. I'm surprised you chose to come with us, Akiyoshi-kun. Isn't your school far from ours? I'd have thought you'd have left earlier. I know you were spending the night, so I wanted to stick around and leave with you guys. I didn't want to be the only one left out. Wait. How do you know how far my school is? <laughs> Keisuke turns to Alex. Nico turns to Alex. Aki turns to Alex. What? What are you looking at me for? <laughs> oh man. Isn't that the uniform of Hiragan- of Hiraganishi- Hiraganishi- Hirag- <laughs> This is gonna be like one of those videos where I keep mispronouncing something. Oh man, Hiraganishi? Because if, if it was a J, it'd be like a Jin. So, Hiraganishi? Hiraganishi Academy. God damn it, if, it's, if I'm not pronouncing it right, I'm gonna be angry. Isn't that the uniform of Hiraganishi Academy? It's the best, aca it's the best elementary school in the prefecture. <laughs> I'm an alumnus. What? Uh, you are? Case K nods, the smile on his face widening. I'm surprised. I thought you, I thought you have studied someplace. I don't know, uh, more expensive. I sorta of did. I think I might have mentioned before how the Saitama estate isn't the family's main estate, right? I, at least I think I did. I'm not too sure. Uh. For the sake of the argument, let's say you did. Before we moved to Saitama, I used to study at a different school. That one was way more expensive. There aren't really any other schools quite as expensive as it in the prefecture, though. Plus, Hiroganishi is already very expensive. And I can only go there because of a scholarship. No nepotism because of my brother or anything, right? Nudge nudge. Hira. Uh... 
Hiraganishi. Oh, it's Nishi. Plus, Hiraganishi is already very expensive. I can only go there because of a scholarship. How on earth do you know that? Mom and I make sure not to discuss that sort of thing, you know. She left a few documents lying around some years ago, and I saw how much she was paying. Plus the, inter plus the internet exists, and I can look this stuff up. I really wish you wouldn't stick your nose into this kind of thing. It's not so bad. It's not so bad. Dude, easy for you to say. Your family wouldn't even have to blink at the school's tuition. F fair point. Still, I'm surprised you studied there. It was only for my last year in elementary school, when my family first came to Saitama. Oh, so technically Keisuke's only been there f here for three years now? Okay, D just wanted to make sure, like, I didn't mean to say that so condescendingly, like, you've only been here for three years, Keisuke. <laughs> no, <laughs> I meant, like, I just wanted to know. I don't know why I said it like that, but... Yeah, Shuiji's the childhood friend they've lived together their whole lives. Keisuke's only been... Like, he was at least there for the two years of high school. I wasn't sure how far back he would have been here for elementary. But, okay, so that's three in total. And then June's the newbie. Everybody loves June, whose update will be after this one. I don't know when, but it'll be the next Tennis Ace episode. Anyway. Why did you guys come to Saitama anyway? You said the main estate isn't here, and, at least according to the internet... Neither is the company's headquarters. I got father to agree to let me move to Saitama when I first started getting into competitive tennis. Grandmother refused to let me go somewhere if she wasn't going to be around, so the entire family uprooted here. God damn! I know it's like they've been a dick to him, but what kind of family would be like, I, I'm not too sure about moving here. And then they're like, fine, we'll move here just because you want to play tennis here. What kind of family does that? I mean, I only knew one person. They didn't... They kinda... It, it was weird. Like, it wasn't like their whole family moved, but I had, a, had somebody who played with me, like, in high school for volleyball who moved, like, for their senior year to, like, a different school just so they could start on their team and so it was a weird scenario like they moved the senior year but they I think they had like a brother or somebody who had an estate in Cal 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 Baptist I was about to say what the real place was uh it's not Cal Baptist but I'm not gonna say what the actual place was um but but yeah they moved from my, like, you know, from our, like, you know, what our hometown was to, like, the school that was, like, 20 minutes away, but they were, like, the second best in our league at the time. Maybe they were third best or at the time. Yeah, there was, like, second or third best. At, no, no, definitely second best based on... Yeah, they were second best at the time, but... Yeah, he moved to the next best school just to play volleyball there and start for their team. And I was like, okay, I guess. <laughs> and so... Yeah, it was weird, because, like, he just moved for that final year. I was like, why would you do that? Why would you uproot things? And I think he may have either lived on his own or with one other person. Like I said, I'm not too sure about the whole scenario. It was, like, years ago, but, God, it was a crazy experience to see that. I'm like, you could just do that? <laughs> like, I can't, I can barely even move my, out of my house. I couldn't even move out of my house until I graduated community college. Oh, God. Yes, June's route is very emotional and dramatic. We are not going to get into that now. <laughs> Let's continue. I got father to agree to let me move to Saitama when I first started getting into competitive tennis. Grandmother refused to let me go somewhere if she wasn't going to be around. So the entire family uprooted here. The original pl or no, that's never mind. That's that's case case still. The original plan was for me to live alone in the estate with only the attendants and servants. Huh. I didn't know any of that. Keisuke does, tr 
Keisuke does try very hard to keep it a secret, yes. Uh, Alex! J just shut up for a second! Alex clicks his tongue, otherwise showing no visible change to his facial expression whatsoever. Point is, Hiraganishi, yeah, Hiraganishi was the best school they could enroll me in when we first moved here. I was, it was the most freedom I'd had since I was first taken in by the Arushahara family. That sounds a bit exhausting and kind of sad. You have no idea. Keisuke would also let me guard him much more thoroughly back then as well. It wasn't until late in his junior high years that he began rebelling against supervision. Something you still won't let go of to this day. Indeed. I lean in closer to Keisuke, covering my mouth with a hand and whispering in his ear. What was I going to say to him? Fuck. I was- I had a joke and I forgot it. No, you're not gonna see my chest. No. Bad. But... It, like, I'm gonna go and whisper to Case K. You still think he's hot, though. That's why you're gay. <laughs> or bi. Either way. This is why you like men. Cause you had such a hot role model. I'm actually surprised you didn't put up a fight to him coming with us at all. I thought of it, but I felt bad that he ended up being suspended from work because of me. And I don't have the money to pay him back anymore, either. Because of you? You said he got into a fight with his boss when you we weren't even around. How is that your fault? I know these people. It was probably a way to send me a message. Alex is my biggest and closest supporter, and they just showed me how easily they can get rid of him if they wanted to. No doubt they want to show off how they could isolate me from my faction. <laughs> Ugh, this whole thing gives me a headache. None of this political intrigue sounds like an actual, real life. Are these people even a family at all? I don't get it. Family is supposed to care for each other. They don't even seem like a family at all. What are you two whispering about? Oh, uh, that's, um... I was asking about your clothes. You look pretty nice, by the way. My... Clothes? I've never seen you dressed like that before. I was mentioning to Keisuke how I'm not used to seeing it. Alex looks down at his own clothes, blinking a few times before finally speaking again. Is it that strange? Not... really. At least not to me. Then again, I'm used to seeing you dressed like this. You are? Alex wears his uniform most of the time when he's working, but don't you think he'd call too? But don't you think he'd call too much attention to himself if he always wore that going out with me? He does always wear that when going out with you. When we visited the music store, when we went to the mall, when we went to that shrine with Vic Kuhn, he was wearing his uniform every single time. I wore my uniform for those times because I didn't have time to prepare beforehand. Prepare? <laughs> Sounds like plot device for me, am I right? Yes. Case K is constantly trying to leave without my noticing or my supervision. When I catch him on his way out, I am forced to leave in my uniform. Usually when I have time to prepare, I still will wear something... Less. Just how much trouble do you usually cause him? I... <laughs> don't want to get into that. The answer is a lot. I'm not that bad. Hmm. Don't hmm me. Is there anything bad about my clothes? I find it odd that you'd mention them. 
not bad. They're just very unusual. It's for sure gaudier than most people are used to. Especially the necklace. At least he's not wearing the leather jacket. God damn it, Basket! We wanted to see him in the leather jacket! I wanted to see my mans in the leather jacket! Oh, that would look so beautiful. Oh, man. Anyway. There's... Usually a jacket on top? Sometimes there is only the jacket. You knew what you were doing, Basket. I god damn it. You made me you made me fall hook, line, and sinker for it too. Ah. Oh god. In the middle of the street, please tell me he at least has clothes underneath the jacket. Or please tell me at least he at least closes the jacket. I don't know why you guys are being so fussy about it. I think his clothes are really cool. Oh? <laughs> High five, Aki. I think I want to buy something like that. Maybe even with a leather jacket. Absolutely not. Absolutely not, young man. Oh, why? You don't need to be calling a bunch of attention to yourself. Alex can wear ba Alex can wear basically whatever he wants. He's already huge with an unusual tattoo and with a fur pattern that isn't very common over here. He screams foreigner and he's going to invite a ton of attention anyway. You aren't. Oh, boo. It is probably for the best. Blending in gives you the best odds of avoiding being targeted. Targeted for what? You do not want to know. I have a past in paradise. I make really good drinks too if you guys want once you turn of age. Once you guys hit the legal age, drinks on me. Oh, but I do. No, you don't. You're way too young to be worrying about that. You're the, you're the one telling me to worry. I'm not telling you to worry. I'm just telling you to listen to me. But you're worrying. That's right. I'm the one worrying. You're supposed to just enjoy childhood without worrying. You're the one not letting me enjoy it with your constant nagging. I'm just looking out for you. I don't need... Aki and I are interrupted by the sound of a loud snort. <laughs> oh my god, he's... He's so... Oh my goodness. Oh, Alex. Yes. Such a smug grin of yours. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. God, it's so great. We both look to the source, seeing the giant wolf covering his mouth before breaking into laughter. <laughs> uh, what? He laughed. You're right. He's totally laughing. I, I didn't know he laughed. Alex isn't a robot, you know. Of course he laughs sometimes. The wolf's shoulders shake violently as he continues to laugh, his mouth covered by his huge hand. Oh god, such a hottie. It brings the four of us to a stop in the middle of the street, with Aki and I gawking at the bizarre sight of the wolf laughing with Keisuke. Laughs, laughs at us. Holy crap, I can't believe it! <laughs> it is not as if I need to remain serious at all times. I am not a clock, or I am not on the clock right now. And it's not as if work has anything to do with it. You're always serious, even when you're not working. Even I have heard you laugh in a while. What? <laughs> That's not true. Of course it is. You're always really serious. I... I can be relaxed and loose when I'm not at work. <laughs> relaxed and loose? You? Oh, no way. Do not laugh. 
Oh, he saw. Oh God, he's doing what is it? I forget what that what that expression is called, but he's doing the frowny thing, and it's so so. Ah, God, I love it. Oh man, he's so. Yeah, he is so precious. That's the word I'm looking for. Thank you so much, Frozen. Or Frozen? Frozen? Whatever. Frozen. I'm gonna call you Frozen. Frozen. I think it's Frozen. Yeah. Thank you, Fro. <laughs> Do not laugh. Seeing Case K laughing as well as Alex's unusually deep frown, <laughs> the dam inside breaks. <laughs> Aki and I quickly join in, laughing at how weird this whole conversation has been from start to finish. Us joining in on the laughter only makes Alex's brow furrow even further as he glares at all three of us with a low growl. Still, it's not enough to stop our laughter. It's a good thing we haven't merged with the main street yet, otherwise we'd have a lot of people looking at us like we're freaks right now. And we're at school. That was faster than I thought. We finally reached the school. Aki spent much of the rest of the way here talking with Alex and asking him a bunch of questions. About what he does for work, what kind of training he does, that sort of thing. At one point he even asked, what did you used to... Or, at one point he even asked, what did you do to be so tall? That's because you enjoyed yourself and time went faster. I... knew that. Of course you did. How silly of me. I guess this is where we split. I'll see you guys later. Aki, be careful on your way to school. I know that. If you don't mind, I can accompany you to your school as well, little one. <laughs> well, me? I have my own bodyguard? Oh man, I'm gonna be the coolest kid in all middle school. Wait, really? Yes, I would worry if he had to walk alone there. It is a bit far and he is quite young. I have seen the worst type of people in my line of work and many of them target children. I don't believe I'd be able to relax if I knew he was on his own. Oh, I, I thought he was saying, like, bodyguards do that to, like... Ew. Gross. Ugh. But, I see what he means. Like, actual, like, creeps and pedos. Like, yeah. Alright. At least he's being protected by our big, cautious, and awesome, safe wolf boy, Alexander. Or wolf man. <laughs> if I knew he was on his own. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, let's go together. And you're... fine with that? Of course. We can chat on the way to school. It'll be so awesome. But... But his whole reasoning for walking you there is because you're a child. You hate being treated like a child. Why does everyone else get special treatment and I get to deal with a grumpy tween when we're home? Ah, this is so unfair! Very well. Let us be on our way. I wouldn't want to- I wouldn't want for you to be late. Okay. I'll see you guys later. Oh man, those guys. Oh, I love them. What did I- Oh god, that was so weird. You thought so too, huh? I totally didn't see that coming. I just have no idea what Alex is thinking. He's not usually one to go out of his way for other people like that. Maybe it's because I'm your boyfriend? What do you mean? Well, from what I've noticed interacting with him, Alex isn't all that different from a loyal guard dog. I'm your boyfriend, so I'm important to you. Alex has already been keeping an eye for me even before we started dating. Maybe now that we are dating, everyone that is important to me suddenly also entered his zone of protection, so to speak. That's... that's silly. Alex isn't a guard dog. He is a hired hand. He has no reason to do stuff like that. 
You spend way too much energy arguing for the sake of reason and rationality and forget really basic stuff. Alex clearly likes and cares for you a lot. If something happened to me, you'd be sad, right? <laughs> no, we are not gonna reference that. God, I, if you know what I'm thinking about... Oh, man. Anyway. What kind of question is that? Of course I would. Well, if I were sad, you'd probably get sad too. And if anything happened to my family, and then forget sad, I'd be devastated. Alex obviously doesn't want to see you sad. Protecting us might just be his way of taking care of you and your feelings. That's... I... No way. Seriously, you give him way too little credit. Like I said, he obviously cares for you a lot. Hell, he even showed up through a suspension to take... Blah, blah, blah. Hell, he even showed up through a suspension to take care of you anyway. I... See. I don't know why you find it so hard to believe. It's pretty obvious. It really, really is. I can't understand at all how you could be so surprised by it. Just how backstabby of a place did you grow up in to tr treat even clear affection as it had ulterior motives? I can't understand it at all. I... Well, if you'll excuse me, I really should be on my way to class. We could just walk to get... I, I really need to get going. Talk to you later. Wait, what? What the hell was that? Motherfucker. Did he just run away from me? He just starts Naruto running. He's like, I gotta go. For real? For real, I opened up the menu button? So many people came to me after the or So many people came after me over the years, but no, I had to date the weirdo. Good going, Nico. I start my way to the building in which my boyfriend just disappeared into. Alone. If I catch him later, I'll karate chop him on the head for that. <laughs> Comes to the tennis day's practice. Yeah! I take a deep breath. Fully letting the weight of this tiny little ball I hold on my hand sink in. I grip it tightly. One, two, five times I bounce it on the floor, placing one foot ahead of the other. The racket held firmly in my dominant hand. As soon as I toss the ball high into the air, a single thought immediately goes through my brain. Hit tennis ball! <sighs> this is going to be a good serve. Performing that same whoop-like motion with my entire body, my racket slams against the ball dead on, sending it flying fast to the other side of the court. The hair dashes towards the ball, a wide topspin serve that bounces high and off the court. Even with his form crumbling under the strain of chasing after such a fast ball, even with his balance and shaky and from not getting into a good position, or even with his balance being shaky from, wait, what am I even reading? Yeah, even with his balance being shaky from not getting into a good position for a good serve, I know he's going to reach it, and I place myself in a position to return it. It don't not, not matter where it goes. You're making me have. You're making me have aneurysms, Basket. This isn't good. I know he's going to reach it, and I place myself in a position to return it not... Oh. I know where he's going to reach it, and I place myself in a position to return it no matter where it goes. KSK hits the ball back with a shallow and wide slice, aiming the ball at an angle to try and make it hard for me to hit it. Ever since he started to mess around with another, or ever since he started to mess around with the depth of his shots, he's become so much more annoying to deal with. And I should know, we play each other so often now that I can pretty much feel him poking and prodding inside my brain, trying to figure out what I'm going to do and how to counter it. I know all that. 
I also know he can't understand the way I play. It's not, it's not smart enough. It's not elegant enough. I know he wishes I'd think things through more. But I'm fine not being that way. I never once thought I was the kind of player who relies on refined strategies to win the point. Even if I'd always admired the people like that, that's not the kind of playstyle that works for me. Because, deep down, I only know my heart only craves for one thing while I'm on the court. That overwhelming force that can break through any barriers along its way. That's the kind of player I strive to be. Having anticipated Kisuke's move before he can even make it, I'm one step ahead of him and re to return the ball, hitting a straight flat shot that paints the line on the back of the court and flies away, unreachable. Yes! I pump a fist happy with my or I pump a fist happy with myself for having scored the point. Game set and match won by Nico. 6 to 4, 6 to 3. Again. Huh. Oh god, the tension leaving his body. Case K lets himself fall down to the floor, his back smacking against the hard concrete and his racket flying again out of his hand on the impact. Are you okay there? You're... You're a monster. Kisuke breathes raggedly, each shallow and quick breath hurting even more as I watch it. I go over the net, crossing over to his side to offer him a hand. When he shows no inclination towards getting up, I instead crouch on his side. You're getting way better. I can even recognize you as the... I can't even recognize you as the same person I played against a few months ago. It's... still... not enough. Even though my words held nothing but genuine praise and admiration for his progress, the hair instead waves them off, keeping his eyes fixed only on the goal ahead of him. Coach walks up to us, having gotten down from his umpire chair, the grin he has on his face seems even wider than usual, and for some reason, that creeps me out. You both have done... Er, you both have been making great progress recently. Oh, that was a different voice. Was it? Uh, man, I feel like I haven't done this voice in a while. You both have been making great progress recently. Do you... think so? I felt like I was finally catching up to Nico-senpai, yet now the distance is widening again. And I was so close to taking a set from him just last month, too. Sorry. You shouldn't feel too bad about it. It's clear that you have been progressing at an accelerated rate. So much so that it even shocked me for a few times. You made it a great stride in a short amount of time, Arisha Harakun. You should be proud. If you say so. Plus, I wouldn't feel so bad about not being able to get a set for me. There's only a handful of players in the country that managed to in There's only a handful of players that in the country that managed to do so in recent years. Still. Arisha Harakun, your form has gotten a lot more steady. You're managing to deal with hardballs way better than before. If you can manage to keep yourself firm on your feet, you'll have a lot more options to attack. I know it's difficult, but try to at least stabilize your form before you hit the ball. That's easier said than done. Nico Senpai's serves feel like bullets coming my way. The crocodile chuckles, offering a hand to the hare who finally accepts it and gets pulled back to his feet. That is true, but right now, you're getting used to everything that is high level. How to properly bounce for the impact of strong shots, where to best place your balls, how to respond to unexpected circumstances, how to cope with stress, all of that you're learning from playing against Nico often. If anything, at least I feel like I don't lose control of my cool as often anymore. Coach nods, his expression getting serious once again. 
I would actually like to suggest you start practicing with Cyatan, too. I believe that would greatly help you on your progress. Against Saya? But she doesn't even play in the same league. She's a girl! <laughs> True. But you are the closest approximation to a cannon. Saya is much more of a sturdy, unyielding wall. Practicing against you let Keisuke prove his defense ability. But he needs to learn how to punch through a defense now. Hmm. I guess that makes sense. Keisuke himself is a bit of an odd player. His style is neither too aggressive nor too defensive. While it's good that he's steady, he doesn't have the lasting power to play pure defense. But he also doesn't have the aggression he needs to close a point out. A lot of times when playing him, the rallies end up turning into wars of attention. Or attrition, actually. Which sucks really bad and I hate it. But it's also helped me work on my stamina a lot more. I think you could learn a thing or two from playing against Sayatan. Sure, I don't mind that. But wouldn't it be better, or, but wouldn't that be a bother for her? I don't need to play against her to tell that I'm clearly not on her level. That doesn't stop you from seeking out Nico as a practice partner, did it? The coach's smile sends a shiver down my spine, for, and for a second there, it felt like I was being picked apart and analyzed in the very instant when he looked at me. Seriously, he's still crazy aloof and lazy, but I've been getting more and more aware of just how closely he watches me, and... I don't know how to feel about it. I guess that's true. As for you, Nico... The moment he says my name and turns to face me, I instinctively straighten my back. Y yes? Could he g could you or could you give us a bit of time, Arusha Har or could you give us a bit of time, Arusha Harakun? I want to talk to him alone. Uh, oh. Okay. Um I'll go help the freshmen that are practicing over there, if you don't mind. That would be a big help. Thank you. KSK picks up his racket from the floor, walking away with his shoulders slacked. I've gotten good enough at reading him that I can tell right away that he feels frustrated. Even when he tries to hide it. Huh, I know what he needs. He needs to play doubles! <laughs> yeah, imagine being KSK's partner. Anyway, a part of me can't help feeling bad for him. But... This is a sport. No matter how hard you try and no matter what you do, there will always be winners and losers. You can't always be on top. So. Yeah? Crap, I just got distracted for a second and had to be snapped back to reality by him. I'll be honest. I was a bit of a I was at a bit of a loss for how to handle you. H handle me? What's this about? When you first joined the school, I noticed that the fire you usually had when playing had dimmed considerably. Now, a little bit of a slump is normal. Not every player can be at their best 100% of the time. But when the situation kept extending itself and getting worse and worse, I got very worried. I thought I had to do something to help you sl to help light your spark again, or you would eventually fizzle out completely. Fizzle out? Me? Your, sl your slump got pretty bad, kiddo. I tried to think of ways to encourage you over the years, but no matter what I tried, nothing really seemed to work. Wait. Was that why you invited Morisaki's son and those other players at the start of the school year? Yes. God, it was a pain in the ass to coordinate it, but I knew I needed some kind of incentive to give you. It worked for a bit, but it still felt like the situation hadn't really been resolved. Looking up at the ceiling, the crocodile scratched his neck, a low humming sound echoing almost inaudibly from his throat. To tell you the truth, 
I was about to bring Sayatan into the mix. <laughs> I thought playing against her might give you the jolt you need. I haven't discussed the situation with her, and we both agreed that might work. Playing against Saya? I mean, she's a really great player and all, but wouldn't that be a bit... I don't know, unorthodox? Oh boy, that's the one thing I like about the Shuichi route. We, we get into doing that th exact thing, like, head on. Like, the coach suggests it, like, Mikado suggests it, and we're like, we're on the road doing it. And, like, even though Nico's hesitant, we eventually realize how great it is for us. And I'm not sure if we're going to have a good outcome from this as a result, or how, if Case K would be just as good of a replacement for that. But, yeah, Saya is really, I think, a good person to at least play against in those terms. I remember playing against defensive players like that, and God, I remember my last, like, high school beach game, like, my last high school beach volleyball game, going against these guys who, one of them eventually ended up going professional in beach volleyball, and their whole shtick was being, like, very defensive and very, like, knowledgeable beyond their years, and so <laughs> it reminds me of that and how it's, like, those types of games are like playing against a wall, but they're so good in helping you learn how to like develop your skills and not just brute force things and hope they mess up. Like rather than just like rather you're supposed to actually refine your skills. Anyway, isn't that a bit unorthodox? And hi, Cormar, you just returned. And yet, I have no idea what happened, Nico. You've been starting to pick up momentum like crazy over the past few weeks. I can barely recognize you. Uh, huh? Did something happen? It feels like your mental block just... Vanished. You've been playing harder than before. Practicing harder too. You're one of the first ones and one of the last ones out of the court. You have a drive I haven't seen in you in years. Uh... Drive? Come to think of it... Did something happen? Back when I played against that guy in the prefectural tournament, I felt like something needed to change. I felt firsthand a sensation like I was being cha chastised. I felt a firsthand a sensation like I was being chased by a beast. A young, inexperienced, and rough around the edges beast, but. It scared me. But as soon as I tried putting the work in, I deflated again. Things have been going around in this sort of cycle for a while now. Before I even noticed it, I felt like I was just scraping by. Why put in much effort anyway? It's not like I would be number one. No matter how hard you try, someone will always be better than you. Every time you improve, You'll just climb higher and face better people. The odds of being number one are so small. So why go through all the trouble? <laughs> I just had a realization. This is a dumb, off-tangent realization, but the font used here, I realized the number one, that's the same font for Shuichi's volleyball jersey when he has, like, the number one on it. I feel like maybe that's the font they used for, like, the volleyball uniforms for... <laughs> for, uh... Minamikawa. That's the name of our school. <laughs> I know it. Yeah. Anyway. So I go through all the trouble. But... I had everything. I, wa I wanted f or nothing. Even if I hated hearing it, and even if I hated the word, I knew I was born with something most people aren't. I have a body that is perfect for sports. Unlike me. I have reflexes that never seem to get dull, even when I don't exercise them. That's what I mean by looking at myself and going me. It's like, I may have at least some strength to myself, but I just don't have the proper coordination, or my body's too tight strong. <laughs> That's always been my big complaint when I was playing like volleyball. Like You have to have fast twitch reflexes with things. And it's like, I used to be fast, and then that just completely burned out when running with my teammates, and I'm not sure why. Uh, I'm not sure if I just 
I probably just did not have a good enough work ethic to keep it up, but yeah. I'm probably turned into Nico in that case when I slumped, but yeah. I just didn't have the same finesse in terms of my skills for volleyball. But anyway, shush your handsome mans and you should come for it. Aw, thanks. So, I have a body that is perfect for sports. I have reflexes that seem to never get dull, even when I don't exercise them. I have a talent that most people don't. Somehow, knowing just that made me feel like I was stuck in a cage. Why work hard when that hard work would always be ignored by others? It must be so nice to be so talented. It's not like that I can win against a genius anyway. I endured years of it. I felt this way with people being like, you have such a good work ethic. You're so good at math. And then I got so burnt out and was like, I really don't feel like I'm passionate for it though. <laughs> that all along every step of the way, there were always people who would dismiss my efforts and calling them talent. It was something I was born with. So it wasn't surprised that I succeeded. God, I hated it. Even though I was getting put on a pedestal, I felt like no one was really looking at me. I felt like I had that one word thrown at me over and over to dismiss me. When I started losing, a lot of people pulled away from me. I was no longer a child star. I was no longer the future of Japanese tennis. Sure, I still have some popularity. Journalists contact me every now and again to talk to me. I'm going to go on a tangent after this about how my VN is different from this, but no, this is, this is totally still good writing, but I'll explain it later, what my thoughts are. I get asked to help coach younger kids every now and again. I did. I actually did do this for about a year. I was terrible at it, but I did it. I didn't bring my, I had like shirts for the job to like the club shirts or whatever. They looked good in color, but. I don't, I don't want to wear the club around and, like, <laughs> show their club and, like, accidentally have them on a furry stream. But anyway, I get, to, I get asked to help coach younger kids every now and again. Sponsors still want me around. But, in a way, I feel stuck. Tanabe was the new face of young Japanese tennis. A story for the ages. The man who beat all the odds to become the greatest tennis hopeful the country had ever seen. Oh, we're going to get some exposition here. I stopped caring. Why care when everything was a bygone conclusion anyway? I would always lose to Tanabe anyway. The gap would just get wider and wider. I was fine being number two. It was easier to be number two. I didn't feel like I was suffocating anymore. Why should you put so much work into doing something you're not suited to? If Tanabe is better than me... That clearly means there's nothing I can do. There was n there, that was the way I started to think. It hurt less if I thought like that. Oh god, the relatability of me when I played at my community college and we were always like, not make, like we're, we were never the best team and we're like, ah, there's always this other school that was better than us. Anyway. Oh god. It's here again. But getting close to him, to someone who is similar to Tanabe, who's so similar to him. I felt KSK chasing after my back every step of the way. I felt uncomfortable when I noticed he was reaching me. Ah, it's happening again, were the words that came to mind. But you never cared about that, did you? I could see how much effort you put into everything you do. You're no genius. You're not some kind of child star who's perfect at everything. If, every, if anything, I would say you're completely unsuited for tennis. Despite years of harsh training, you're not all that strong. You're not all that skillful. Everything you have, you have, to, you have because you trained harder than anyone. Come to think of it, you and Shuichi are birds of a feather, aren't you? Oh god, that reminds me of the June route, where they start to get a bit closer together. And I'm like, ah, they fit together because of that. 
Yeah. Oh, God, Shuichi. Every time it's not a Shuichi route, I feel sad for Shuichi. Yet, seeing you get close to me, it made me panic. I don't want to lose yet. I don't want him to pass me by. I don't want him to look down on me when he realizes I'm not interesting anymore. More than anyone, you're the one person I never want looking at me like that. So, I did my best. I tried harder. I did everything I could to get by. At school, my personal life, tennis, all of it. I felt like I was the one who needed to keep up with you. That if I didn't do that, you would leave me behind. At some point during that, I started having fun. Because that's the real issue, isn't it? When did tennis stop being fun for me? I don't even know anymore. This reminds me of me playing volleyball. Volleyball stopped being fun for me, like, by the time I got to my second year of, well, maybe even the, some of my first year. I'd say during my community college years, that's kind of when it really started being not fun for me because I just would always be behind somebody. Somebody always got the chance ahead of me, and I was always the last resort. And so it made me feel like, why am I even trying? So I didn't put as much effort in. And then once I quit, or well, not quit, I didn't quit, I finished actually. Once I finished community college and wasn't on a team anymore, and just would play in like maybe outdoor tournaments for fun, or indoor intramurals for fun, that's why it became really fun for me. It, this reminds me of that. Even though, even though Nico's not dropping out and doing like intramurals or whatever for fun, it, it just was like, for me, it was like not having to be like, put in this like secondary role all the time just it made me feel like i had purpose again for nico it's probably different where he feels like he has too much riding on him for me i felt like i was the opposite completely useless but yeah the two ends of the spectrum and it's like once you finally can you know have someone that motivates you for trying and for me that were that was my intramural teammates and just playing against the random students at my college just was fun Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree with that. Especially with academics, I know that feeling, man. When did Tina stop being fun for me? I don't even know anymore. But even playing against you, watching you grow, feeling the pressure of being chased closely from behind. I didn't want to lose. If I lost, that would mean you wouldn't want that blah, blah, blah. if I lost that would mean you wouldn't be chasing me anymore and I and never wanted it to end I wanted you to keep chasing after me forever tennis is fun when I'm with you and so in it and so is love that's that's the new song tennis is fun with you and so is love challenging my limits and trying my best are fun when you're around. You don't dismiss me. You don't praise me when I don't deserve it. You always watch me from up close. You see all of me, all of my effort and hard work. You praise me when I work hard and you call me out when I slack off. I want you to keep looking at me like that. So I worked hard. I guess that's my answer. Do it for the button. Or do it for the hair. It's such a small thing. So small that it makes me want to laugh now that I think about it. More than some kind of unreachable rival or some close friend that walks side by side with me. It was you. The one guy who ignored every obstacle and tried his best even when he didn't seem suited at tennis at all. Seeing you grow made me want to try my best, too. I... I think you're right. I didn't even notice it at first. But now that you mention it, I can't say it's not true. I guess I found my answer. The crocodile's brown furrow... 
staring down at me like I just said something absurd and nonsensical. What do you mean? Your answer? Tennis is fun. I don't need any other reason to work hard. His eyes widen. His jaw goes slack. The crocodile stares at me like I'm a total stranger. Some kind of alien life form. I can't blame him for it. <laughs> what? Why are you laughing? Tennis is fun? That's it? That's your answer? Are you kidding me? <laughs> hey, don't mock me! I thought really hard about it, okay? The crocodile's bellowing laugh echoes so loudly that everyone stops what they're doing. The players are in all the courts stop to stare at us, attracted by the sudden ruckus going on around them. C can you stop laughing that hard? It's embarrassing. I just... I can't believe it. You look so serious when you were thinking about it. And that's what you tell me. Tennis is fun. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> My sides. Please, stop it. I'm seriously regretting anything right now. Sorry, sorry. <clears throat> I didn't mean to embarrass you. It's just that, well, no, duh, I hope you'd find tennis fun. Otherwise, what are you even doing playing something you don't like? R right. Look, kid, I'm not sure to be a ch I'm not going to be a choosing beggar. Whatever works for you, I'm just happy you're getting your mojo back. We have a lot we need to work on. Uh, we do? Yeah. For starters, your stamina is garbage. Absolute crap. It might be fine for shorter matches, but when you play against someone who can really drag things out, you lose steam way too quick. Y yeah, I know that. If you make it into the pros like that, you're not gonna last. Five set matches are gonna burn, or are gonna be the norm, and you won't have the juice for that. Your stamina is the first thing we need to work on. Sure. Thank you for pointing out the obvious. And here I thought you actually had something useful to offer. <clears throat> Other than that, we really need to work on your spin shots. But my spin shots? The crocodile nods, the playful smile disappearing from his face completely. Instead, he looks down at me with completely serious eyes, making me freeze under his watchful gaze. Your slice is fine, but your top spin is sloppy. The ball slides too much when it should be bouncing higher. And you have no variety. Top spin is only going to be useful for you if you can use it to catch other players off guard. You need to be able to change how much you spin you're putting on the ball so it bounces more regularly. But really? I thought my top spin was fine. You don't use spin shots all that often. For the most part, you tend to stick with flat shots, which is fun for you and your play style. But when you need to rely on spin shots to change the pace or recover from a tight spot, you need them to be as good as they can be. Fine ain't cutting it. I guess that makes sense. I'm gonna cut up. I'm I'm gonna come up with a different training routine for you so you can focus on those two things right now. There's more we're gonna need to work on, but those are the major needs for the moment. Or the major points, sorry. Okay, I'll work on that. Sayatan is really good at both of those things. Maybe you could get some pointers from her. Her top spin is killer. Are we really going to make Saya responsible for helping both me and KSK train? She'll be fine. The girl can juggle the way more than you give her credit for. Besides, she's been one of the most worried about your mental state for years now. She... has? Ugh, now I feel bad. The good thing is that practicing against Arusha Harakun helps you get used to opponents that play more carefully. 
He might not be refined or as aggressive as Tanabe, but what you've been learning by practicing with him will surely help you during the Kanto Regional Tournament. Right. Regionals are coming up. I need to be at the top of my game there. Oh, I can't wait for the regionals. We do... I'm not spoiling it, but we... Let me just say we get to it in June's route. Like, like the last day we play is during the first day of the regionals. And I'm really hyped to see the... I'm really hyped to see, like, you know, the regionals from the Case K perspective, the Shuichi perspective. I'm wondering if they're gonna go with him. Like, I'm wondering if it's like, oh, they're my boyfriend. Come with me to the tournament. Cause I know in the June one, they do, they do actually have to like go somewhere to it. Like in like a hotel or whatever. Like they actually have to travel for it. It's not like the prefectural where they're just in their, like that, like in their homes or whatever. And they just drive to the tournament or walk there. Like, it's not like that. They have to actually travel for, this regional i'm hyped for that i i that's the big thing oh god i'm not sure if i should go into the rant now about it but that this isn't part of the initial rant but yeah one of the things i look forward to with my vn and exploring this with ocean avenue is showing the travel side of going to these events and tournaments or whatnot and the camaraderie you get from that that is something i really want to see in a vn and yeah we get that in extracurricular activity somewhat but it's not really the main, it's not really a major focus, and I think it's something where it, I def, it's like, and even when you do it, it seems like an extracurricular, or EA, it seems like it's more very specific to the root, and oh, you're hanging out with your boyfriend that you chose mostly, and not really leaning into too much of, let's bond so much with the teammates. There is like that one dinner, but I feel like I feel like I want to definitely explore that and be able to explore that multiple times and have that involved with the team camaraderie and also show how that bleeds into like the competitive atmosphere against the opponents or feelings against them or, you know, the competitive atm atmosphere of, you know, just the league or, or whatever itself in general. Like, there's a lot of different facets to like going to like a sports tournament or event. It's like so much fun to travel to them. That's the biggest thing I miss, and I was so bummed I didn't make like the club team last year. Don't think we're having one this year, so. Yeah, that's why it's like I wish I could do like traveling to those types of events again, because it's, it's only so much fun to just drive to one locally. It's, it's another thing when you get to travel with your buds and do it. Anyway, back to this. Regionals are coming up. I need to be at the top of my game there. Tanabe has been beating me for both during both regionals and nationals for four years now. I don't want my last year as a student to end in an overwhelming defeat, too. I'll do my best. The crocodile smiles again, placing his heavy hand on my shoulder and giving it a squeeze. Good. That's what I want to hear. Now go get ready to head home. Practice is over for the day. What, already? I could still go on. I have to close down the court, kid. I can't keep hanging around just because you want to practice more. All right, all right. Fine. Good. I'm going to let the others know. It seems some of the kids are already packing up, but there's a bunch who don't even seem to notice what time it is. <laughs> it's not like we're getting a ton of natural light here in the first place, as we see glaring windows in the background. <laughs> anyway... That would be more so like my volleyball gym that I'm doing for my VN and whatnot. You wouldn't be able to see the natural light for that. At least when I play volleyball or whatnot, you don't really get to see the natural light unless they have like the side door for people to enter in between the corridor and the actual exit. Like unless they have that door to get into the actual courts open, you don't really get to see much natural light at all. So yeah, some of those tournaments, yeah, the time flies by and you're like, holy crap, it's like 6 p.m. now and you got in there at like 8 a.m. Anyway, it doesn't surprise me at all. I watch Coach walking up to the other members, letting people know to wrap up one by one. I quickly walk up to the nearby bench, grabbing my things and heading to the locker room. Oh, that was a show. Whoa! 
out of nowhere, a single rabbit jumps in front of me, making me shriek and jump back. Whoa. Easy there. It's just me. Don't do that! Sheesh, sorry. It's not my fault you don't pay attention to your surroundings. What do you want, Saya? Well, what was that about? The coach was la- the coach. The coach was laughing, like, really hard. It caught me by surprise. That... That was just him being an idiot and laughing at me for saying tennis is fun. <laughs> Whoa. You actually said that? Yes. Why do you look so shocked about it? <laughs> hmm. I'm just surprised, is all. If you say so. Are you excited? Regionals is in a week. Yes. I'm so excited. Like, we did get to see the prefecturals for Shuichi's team. Like, for his thing earlier on in his route. <clears throat> but I'm so hyped to actually see the tennis version of it. I'm gonna be so hyped to travel to a tennis tournament. Oh, man. For me, I'm imagining that stuff, like, days ahead for me, but I'm like, I gotta write enough to get to that point. Like, luckily, I have beach volleyball as part of it, or what well, was one of the big aspects of it, so at least the, the tournaments for that will happen soon. It's not like, it's not like the volleyball stuff where it's like, that stuff will tend to start towards like winter and spring. So <laughs> that would have had to take a few months in terms of like story timeline and it'd be more developing the characters at that point. But yeah, I feel like I would low key turn to tennis ace based on what I just said. <laughs> oh no, I'm becoming tennis ace 2.0. <laughs> anyway, are you excited? Regionals are in a week. I guess. There's nothing too special about it. What? No way! There's everything special about it! We're in our last year as students, you know! Are we? I hadn't noticed. Ooh, don't be so snippy with me! Maybe if this were Nationals, I'd be more excited. Right now, I just want to avoid getting ahead of myself. Really? That doesn't really sound like you. I don't know what to tell you. It's the truth. Well, so long as you take it seriously. I guess I can't complain. Knowing you, I'm sure you'd find a way to complain regardless. You're really good at that. I'm gonna go shower and get changed. I'll see you tomorrow. See ya. See ya, Saya. And good job today. Keep it up. What? Encouragement? From you? Oh, what is going on here? That's it. I'm leaving. Goodbye, Saya. Bye-bye. Talk to you later. God, she's such a pain in the ass sometimes. I drop my bag in front of my locker, finishing, finishing out a towel I can use to dry myself from all the accumulated sweat. Now that excitement is over, now that the excitement is over, my head is starting to hurt. I think I might have thought too hard in there. God, I'm not used to this. From the corner of my eye, I noticed a mostly white shape walking up next to me and dropping a bag nearby. You're still here. Coach and Saya both held me up for a while. I'd already have been out of the door if it weren't for that. That's not too bad. Was the talk with Coach helpful? It was. A lot of things. What does that mean? Don't worry about it. I finished spraying myself with a strong deodorant I always bring with me. Now that I think about it, Nico's the type of character, or Nico's the type of person who in middle school probably just sprayed Axe instead of showering after PE. And... God, it's disgusting. I finished spraying myself with a strong deodorant I always bring with me. I don't like showering in here, but that doesn't mean I'd want to walk back home smelling bad. The deodorant is enough to neutralize the smell for sweat for at least a little while before I can head home and take a bath there. By the way, are you coming over again tonight? Oh, uh, um, right. I forgot to ask about that. 
Ask what? Just... If it would if it would be okay for me to. I don't want to impose. You're not imposing, you dumbass. You want to be away from your family for a bit, don't you? Yeah. Then you can stay over. Having you around isn't any kind of trouble. Plus, I appreciate the company. Aw, thank you. That's really sweet of you. Don't start getting sappy on me in public, though. We don't want to call too much attention to ourselves, remember? I'll wait for you by the gate. There's too many people in here, and I don't want to be on the way. Or in the way, I guess. That is, unless you want to take a bath when you get to my place instead. Nah, I prefer to stick to the routine. Besides, even if I... Even if it isn't that far away, I don't want to walk around feeling stinky and smelly for any longer than I absolutely need to. Yeah, that's fair. I'll see you outside. Yeah. I grab my things and walk out of the locker room, just as Case Case starts ta talking away, taking away his shirt, making sure only to look for a second before looking away. Fresh air. It always feels so great after practice. When my fur is still a little damp and I can feel a breeze on it. That stuff rules. As I walk towards the gate, I notice a familiar figure in the distance. Walking. I pick up my step, jogging to him. <gasps> Alex! Ah! Uh, hey there, Alex. I didn't think I'd see you here. I come to pick Case K up. You got here a little early. He's taking a shower right now. I know. I am familiar with his schedule. Huh. So you wanted to get here early? <laughs> Talk about diligence. I actually hoped I could speak with you in private. Hence why I showed up earlier. With me? What about? The wolf looks around, scanning the horizon all the way to over his own shoulders. Come with me. I'd rather not be overheard. Uh, okay. What's going on here? Alex drives me to Alex drags me to a nearby spot inside school grounds. Right between the gym building and the outer wall, a patch of greenery covered by a few trees. True to his intention, there's absolutely no one around here. What's going on? Uh, you're freaking me out a little bit. His face. Face? Uh, whose face? Keisuke's face. Did you, tr did you truly think I would not notice the bruise? Uh-oh. Just then, I feel as if even the blood inside my veins had frozen immediately. My eyes go wide, staring in shock at the wolf's face as he glares at me. That look, that disapproving, menacing look stares right through me. My legs begin to shake and quiver. I desperately want to look away. Yet, my body is pinned down by that stare. I can't move at all. My body doesn't respond. I require an explanation. When Keisuke left for your house, he was entirely unharmed. Why and how is there now a bruise on his face? Worse yet, one so noticeable that he can be seen even through his white fur. I... I... A bruise like that would require significant force to make. I have trouble believing a mere accident could have caused it. What happened? It's... It's not that noticeable, is it? I... I could only see it when I looked up close. Uh, it's... I... I... I didn't... You didn't? Didn't what? Why is your first instinct to talk about yourself? It's... 
I let Keisuke spend the night with you because I trusted you and your ability to keep him safe. I felt that if he was with you, no harm would befall him. Imagine my surprise when I show up the next day and he has a bruise. I feel sick. My stomach begins to churn, feeling as if it were trying to clear itself up into... Or as if it was tying itself up into endless knots. I want to get sick. My heart starts to pound inside my chest, so hard that I can feel it in my mouth. Speak. It's a single word, spoken tearsly and like a command, snaps me out like a trance. Just then, my entire body shakes and I feel like I'd just been under a spell to hold me still. Even if I knew that isn't the case. Worse yet, I hadn't noticed it at all that I began holding my breath at some point. But as soon as my body relaxes, I gasp and struggle for multiple fast, shallow breaths. <sighs> it's... We... We had a fight. A fight? He... I... He said something really hurtful and... Before I even realized it, what I was doing... My body... So you hit him. Because he said something you did not like. It's not that. It's not like that. I... I lost control and... And that is supposed to make things better. That is supposed to make it acceptable. No, of course not. I... I just... I... It still doesn't feel real. I can't believe I did that. Why? Why would I do that? I... I hate violence. I never want to hurt anyone, so... So why? Why did I want to hurt him just as bad as he hurt me that time? My throat contracts over and over again. My eyes start to burn. A heavy, heavy hand comes crashing down my shoulder, nearly knocking me down to the floor. Instead... It holds me in place, gripping me so tightly that I can feel as if my shoulder is about to be torn off just by those strong fingers. I shall make myself clear. I do not care. Whatever reasoning and excuses you give shall not move me. His claws start to dig into me, making me panic thinking that he just might tear my shoulder off after all. <laughs> I choose to put my trust in you and you have failed it. You do not want to know what it will do to you if you put so much as a single finger on him in an, in an inappropriate manner. In fact, the only reason I stay my hand right now is because I do not wish to cause Case K undue grief. I swallow hard, nodding along to his words, feeling as if all blood were training from my face, my hands, my feet. All of it suddenly feels so cold. For the time being, Keisuke and I will need to have a conversation. Until such a time, I will be keeping my eyes on you. I... understand. He's... he's right. Keisuke went along with it so easily and I wanted to fool myself into thinking everything was okay. If he didn't think anything of it, then there's no harm done, right? Except, that's not true at all. Just because Keisuke is forgiving, or maybe because he doesn't know better, maybe he's been so messed up from the way he's been raised at his house that he can't help but blame himself and act like he deserved it. Whatever his reason might be, though. I did do something unacceptable. Hurting him like that. There's no way that I can gloss over that. I shouldn't. It's... It's wrong. I... And even after I did that, we still... I want to vomit. Compose yourself. You best not say a single word to him about our conversation. If you go out looking like that, 
He will certainly know that something has transpired. Uh, okay. Alex walks out of this small spot, going back to the main gate so he can wait for Keisuke. Once he is gone, the full weight of our conversation we just had hits me at once. I fall down to the ground, hitting my back against the nearby wall and my ass on the ground. I remain seated for what feels like ages. My brain going around in circles is, is circles about just what happened. Before I notice it, my eyes begin to burn and tears start welling up. My shoulder still stings badly. In fact, I can still feel, see a few red spots forming right where Alexander's claws had been, beginning to stain the fabric above them with small, red circles. Burying my face in my knees, I begin to sob. <gasps> Uh-oh, this is awkward. Sometime later. I don't even know how much time I had passed by the time I managed to pull myself back together. I quickly grabbed my towel, shoving it under my shirt and trying to clean off the drips of blood coming to the surface before they could stain my shirt too visibly. The stains were just too obvious, though. I ended up having to put my school jacket on top of them just to hide them. When I walk out, Case K and Alex are waiting with me just with barely anyone else around. There you are. I was starting to get worried. Alex said you remembered something you needed to do. I look up at the two of them, quickly averting my gaze when Alex's eyes look in my direction. Yeah, there was someone I needed to talk to. Are you okay? You seem... I can't quite put my finger on it. I'm fine. It's not a big deal. Just an awkward conversation with someone I know. If you say so. I was just worried you were taking a while. Sorry. I lost track of time. That's not a lie. Shall we get going? Sure. I was getting a bit tired of waiting around. Then again, I'm sure you had felt the same if you kept waiting for me to shower and dry myself off when you have nothing to do. You did seem to take your time with your shower. Don't get on my case. You know how long it takes me to properly dry my fur. Should we buy you a stronger hand dryer? Are you kidding? The one I have already comes close to singeing my fur as is. Good point. The two begin walking home, with me absentmindedly following behind them. Oh, er, oh, that reminds me, Alex. I'm going to need some more fur care lotion. Could we go out to buy some tomorrow? Your assets have been seized, remember? You will need to put in a requisition to have it bought for you. Especially considering how expensive the lotion you normally use is. <sighs> right. I'd forgotten about it. Do not worry. I do not think they'd take too long to get to it. They'll likely approve whatever you ask for right away. They're only doing this to make you feel how much you, they're only doing this to make you feel how much you depend on them. I know that. It doesn't doesn't it mean I don't still hate it? I can understand that feeling. Those two talk normally as if nothing had even happened. Is something... I'm going crazy. I thought something was glowing. It's scary. Just, it's just scary how Alexander can go from pretending like there is no problem. In case K, he's really been acting like nothing's happened since yesterday. Even when Saya-chan, the only other person to notice his bruise, asked about it, he just made up a lie on the spot about getting hit in the face with a ball during yesterday's practice. How can these two keep appearances so easily? I can barely even bring myself to drag my feet on the floor. I want to crawl into a hole and die. So how... How do they do it? Forgive me for the indiscretion, but I do believe I have to ask. When do you plan on going back home? 
Hmm, uh, not for a couple more days at least. I want to be as far away from that place as possible. At least for a little while. Or at least for a little while. Do not worry. You can, Do you not worry you can inconvenience them? Alex looks back behind me and at me. His gaze immediately causes me to straighten my back again, putting on my best fake smile I can muster. I, uh, w well, a, a little bit. Nico said it was fine, though. Yeah, I... Even if he says it, isn't there some concern over how it is for his family? You barely even know his mother, don't you? Wouldn't it be inconvenient for you to stay for so many days? I... You're probably right. I do want to spend time with him, though. You could make... Or you could alternate. Spend a few days in my apartment and then go back to his house for your last day before you return home. Would that not be more appropriate? A chill runs its way down my spine when I finally realize what is happening. He's trying to convince Keisuke to leave. He doesn't want me to be around Keisuke. When I notice that, I start to panic a little bit. I... I suppose so. It's really no problem. You can stay with me as long as you want. The words leave my mouth before I can properly think about it. More of a plea than anything. And a pitiful one at that. Please. No. Don't leave yet. Anything but that. Uh, c calm down, Nico. Uh, I did. I know how you feel. I'm just trying to be considerate of your family. While Case K answers me without noticing anything has gone wrong, Alexander glares at me, clearly unhappy with my choice of words. Are you sure about that? I know it must be tiring to change your routine so suddenly. Was it not tiring to have Case K over for the last for all of last night? N no, I. What did you What did you two even do last night? Did everything go well? That's... Um... Yes. Oh no, is Alex going to ask about it? Here? Now? No, he... He wouldn't. Yes, everything went pretty well. We had a lot of fun, actually. Oh? It's not like we were up to a lot. We hung out, watched some TV together, played a few games, Nico cooked for me. Oh, and I got to know his little brother a little bit better, too. I think Akiyoshi-kun and I might have some things in common. I'm just glad to have given him a good impression. I see. That clearly is... desirable. So there are no hiccups. Hmm, uh, nothing that jumps out at me right away. Unless I did something way inappropriate without noticing. Did I do anything like that, Nico? But, but no, no, of course not. Whoa, you seem a little pale. Are you alright? I'm fine. Keisuke is right. You do look unwell. Perhaps it would be best to let him rest. Why don't you spend the night at my apartment and we could talk things through and come to a decision over what you'll do for the next few days after that? Yeah, that might be for the best. I really don't want to tax Nico so much when he's looking like that. But I... Oh, I can't... I can't come up with any words to protest. Without letting anything slip... Alex easily steered the situation into the outcome he wanted. What is there to, for me to even do against that? In this case, we should head to the station. We'll have an easier time finding a taxi there. Yeah, that's true, but... Nico, would you be okay to walk home on your own? I don't know if I want to leave you alone when you're looking like that. I... I want to ask him to walk me home. 
I want to do anything I can to get him to come with me. Palexander looms from behind me, glaring so blatantly at me for that I find it hard to breathe. I get it. You don't trust me. You don't want him around me. I understand why. I messed up real bad. But I... Can I at least get another chance? It's... It's okay. I'm just tired. I can walk home no problem. You sure? I say the words that Alexander undoubtedly wants me to say. I don't have the courage to speak up against him. Nor do I have the right. Right now, all I can do is my best so I can make up for the terrible mistake I made. Alexander's whole purpose for being here is to protect KSK. Of course he wouldn't let KSK go with someone who hurt him. And I know how I look right now. To him, I might as well be some kind of abusive boyfriend. It's not like I gave him any other possible under interpretations, did I? Okay. Just call me if anything happens, okay? Of course. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow, though. Yeah. I'll see you tomorrow. Let us get going, then. Do you want for me to carry your bags, Case K? Nah. Don't worry about it. I'm used to carrying these. Bidding me a quick farewell, Case K and Alexander turn around a different corner, quickly disappearing from my view entirely. The last thing I see is the sight of Case K's back as he chats and laughs happily with Alexander. Oh, never too late for Doritos. Cheers. I feel like I'm going to be sick. I don't even realize what time it is when I get home. Somehow, I'm vaguely aware that I've wandered around for way longer than I should have. I'm desperately trying to clear my head. I... All that's left is to wait and see what happens. Alex will probably try to talking to Keisuke about what happened. I... I can't imagine KSK not discussing it with him. Those two are so close. Well, will Alexander convince him to break up with me? Oh God, I hope not. But right now, I really need to find a way to make up for this. With thoughts like that, without even showering first, I collapse onto my bed, letting my entire world fade to black around me. Oh my God, that was a quick ending. Let me quick let me quickly save. And that's the end of the case K update. Hey guys, you've reached the current end of the case K content. I hope you've enjoyed what you managed to play so far. As you guys may or may not already know, all development in tennis ace is possible thanks to my amazing patrons and other supporters who make it possible for me to dedicate the time to work on this game as well as commission the art for it. If you, all, if you haven't already, and if you're able, maybe you should consider to help to support us too. Just click here and you'll be taken to our Patreon page, which is in the link. Just, well, and you, once, it, once I upload this on YouTube, it will be in the description below. Once again, thank you all, and we'll see each other in the next demo. Well, that's it. Um... So, I think I'm going to end this stream by raiding a stream. I think that's how it works. I'm going to talk to Koru about it, if Koru is still down to talk. So, I think I'm going to raid the person if they're still on that I th saw earlier. Alright, Koru is still on. We're, I'm going to call him, so we're going to chat and figure out how to do the raid. This will be my first raid. And it wasn't even Raid Shadow Legends. 
Oh god, they kill me for saying that. Hey yo. Are, are you on? I live once again, chat! I have been brought back from the dead to wreak havoc upon thee. Yep. Oh, we're gonna ra we're gonna rake havoc on the channel we raid. Oh man, <laughs> this is gonna be fun. So, hey. yeah. Hey, uh, first, first things first, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, what channel are we raiding? Are oh, they still going? Um, That's the thing that um, I need to know. So should I should I just check on like a different like tab? I could do yes. that quickly. I feel like we're muted. I feel like we're muted. If we... Wait, see, they're muted? still going. No, not by not no mute the. You the, the stream that you're looking into. You don't want the audio coming back into the stream here. Oh yeah, I have a tab that. Thank God I to have a tab thing on uh, Chrome that says mute site. So, okay, he's still yeah. alive. Oh goodness, he's still alive. Okay, have you heard of Duff yeah. Wolf? I played uh, yeah, D and D with I have. him. Love the guy, and yeah. Um, so I'm going to follow him there, and he's working on some sort of like uh, 3D art. All right, you guys ready to do it? All right. Okay. So how right, do I do so this? We're going to us, you press you press slash, and then you type raid. Oh, I don't hit the then, button that says raid channel. That also works. Both work. Okay. By the way, so okay. uh, so by the way, you still have to type the name of the person you're raiding. Okay. It says channels you follow, so... Oh, this is easy. Guess we'll do Duff Wolf. So will this end the stream, like, for me? No, it wouldn't, it wouldn't end the stream automatically. It just t send your viewers there. Okay. As a, and, you, and you end the stream proper. Okay, so... I just okay. by off the stream, you know? So this is just a getaway segment, if you will. I guess. So yes. I guess I'll raid the channel and then do my outro, so... Yeah, yeah, so you can be a part of that outro with me, so here we go. Raid away. We are starting the raid. There we go. All right. Did I do it? Yes, it is currently... It is currently speaking up every view that we have right now, and then following oh, up there to a raid. Oh, there we go. Okay, raid now. I think you're yeah. echoing for a bit. Okay. And raid right away. Let me see. I'm checking his window. Yep. Okay. I raided with a party of six. Awesome. Yes. Oh. Typically, you're supposed to uh, say all your spiel first, then you raid. Because now all the viewers you have are gone. <laughs> I killed them. No. Anyway, well, might as well not have them like interrupt me by accident, but anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, take care, guys. Bye.